All right, what's your rebuttal, Mondo? No, this can't be right. Where's your evidence? Yeah, where's your evidence? Oh, I'll give you my evidence as soon as we played Project Diva. You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Evidence that Mondo's the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial. If I can somehow show where Mondo's hand, uh, where Mondo's handbook is right now. Is this a, yeah, a new element has been, okay. Yeah, it's the exact same bullet time battles. Isn't that the, let's talk a bit about fever time and nega time. During a bullet time battle, if you press the R button, fever time will activate and the tempo will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. So you can push X triangle, X triangle, however you want. We want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. You can also tell. Okay, shut up. But this only lasts f until you're. Okay. You also got to prepare for something called negative time that your opponent can use. If your opponent activates negative time during the bullet battle, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite tougher for you to hit the buttons in rhythm. This makes no sense, but whatever. Just give me. Just show me the evidence instead of. This stupid mini game. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. It also is very selective whenever the music is um good or not. I won't listen. Not bad, but it's very um basic. I refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen! I refute you! False! Show me some evidence! I won't listen! Yeah, even Show with the... Evidence. This should prove it! Yeah, even with the, uh... Negative time or not being able to see the rhythm, it's still very easy as well, so it doesn't really matter at all. Thinking so far is right, Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll. We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I killed him. Well, there we go. Mission accomplished, we solved it. <laughs> Execution time! We'll be right back with that. Wait, hold on. We didn't we just take a break already? Oh shit! What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Never mind. No break. I <laughs> uh, got A C C A. Is that really it? Just a ranking? Regardless, I got an A. I just got one C somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, it doesn't seem like the yeah the game really didn't fuck me over at all. Oh wait, no. Is this the wait a minute? Is this the fucking rhythm game thing? It looks like it's a rhythm game thing. Perfect. I don't even know. Whatever. So that was that. Why? Bro? Bro? What are you saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... Give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! Oh Wait. shit. Hold on! No waiting! No holding up time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadful? What's it gonna be? I think it's pretty obvious, right? God, this looks so low res. This is on the Vita after all. Anyway, so. Sorry, uh. Uh oh. This time it looks like you got it right again! Yes, it is so. The blacken that killed Chihiro Fujisaki is. Mondo Awada! Oh god, now I'm back to voice acting. Huh. Unbelievable. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chooses the wrong answer. You're trending very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I I refuse to believe it. There's no way. No way he would kill someone. Sorry. What, what is this? Why are you apologizing? 
Why? 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 Why did you do? Oh my God! His face. Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taking a vow of silence. So allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is a sad story of two men. But oh, for wait, hold on. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the circle button and fast forward the text. Nah, I want to hear this. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extremely inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You are weak even though you're a boy. He heard things like that as long as he could remember and he could have overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and bury himself further and further into that weakness. To take it out in a fragile form of petite young girl, he had no he had chosen that as his way out. Um nobody now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wrapped him, oh, sorry. But no matter how many times, uh, uh, I keep thinking that somehow she's talking. I gotta really pay attention to text. The inferiority complex has already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, that shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. <laughs> I'm weak. 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 Weak, 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 weak. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not as strong, you won't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which of course included Shihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack and the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those who were around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured be being thrust into the... Oh my god, I need to work on my voice acting. And yet! Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become stronger, then I can be I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger! That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I want to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that whenever somebody says, even though you're a boy, it'll be okay, I'll get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um... When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And that person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it was. It sure was. The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Jihiro probably figured that even if he confined it to, confined it to Mondo, his honor would make him keep that secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was a very symbol of strong men that Shahira always had inspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give some... Oh, sorry, fuck. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will give me some courage. So he went to, a so he went to ask Mondo to help... So he went to ask Mondo to help him become strong. I think that's the wrong person saying that right now. Or oh, whatever. That was his aspiration, and he thought the only that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to become close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did to keep the promise he made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did what he did? You mean that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. 
Uh... Wasn't that to cover up what he's done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he made to Chishiro. But... But how does moving the body keep a secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would be arguing how she, how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So, he tried to pro, he tried to protect your hero secretly by putting him on, in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See, then Mondo did all he, ah, then Ma Mondo did all that he keeps promise. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> We get the idea. We know the backstory. But why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you? Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it. So that's what triggered it after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? That's impossible! Nothing could have been that bad! Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone? It's impossible! Don't make me repeat myself. Uh, is that the same- is, is that the only line you're gonna speak of, Byakuya? Hey, to judge others by your own standard is the high of faulty. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while you're on the subject, what do I tell you? That embarrassing memory! That secret he didn't want anyone to know! Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother! That was the embar- well, then again, I guess it's probably- Ooh. <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother name was Daya Awada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Dai Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mono was the appetite of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. Ugh, my voice is really starting to ache. <clears throat> and before anyone knew it, he added to the ground, blah, blah, blah. Okay, blah, blah. Daya and the older brother, number one in the gang. Okay, can I just summarize this? I can't, honestly, like... I feel like my voice is really graveling me the more I try to voice act. In the beginning, everything was... But then when Mondo started thinking about how he would have to take over a gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw at Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is to make the gang look bad. <laughs> Almost every day, Mono heard the gossip whispers of the other fa members of the gang, which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once, just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. With me. I don't care what it takes, I gotta come out on top! And on that night, his amazing brother's retire retirement ceremony Mono challenged him to a street race. But during that race, strategy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead to the reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into the oncoming traffic. But suddenly... So it wasn't really him killing him, it was manslaughter. And his pink is also- his blood is also pink, of course, okay. Laying in his- seriously, is, th is it really because of censorship? Because that seems like a bullshit reason to- whatever. Maybe the stylist, considering how the backgrounds are all red and shit, that would make more sense, but... Why pink? Because pink is very close to red, so that still doesn't make sense. Whatever. Laying into the- yeah. Laying into his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey kid, 
The rest is up to you. No matter what, we gotta keep the game together. It's a team, you and me together. It's a pr a promise between men. <laughs> he decided to hide the truth to what happened to everyone else in the gang in order to keep the gang together and keep the promise of his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who bested his brother. Di Daya was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That because the explanation of what happened, Mano's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I I'm just... strong. Yeah. Strong, 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 strong. And yet... <laughs> as soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced that the revealing of the embarrassing secrets of Abba. Okay, so yeah, this is just repeat what happened. Now I'm curious as to what everyone else's embarrassing secret is. N no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang member found out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked on to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'm carrying around of, uh, you know, like, it's also getting dark around here, too. Holy shit, I've been recording for a while now. I... That's why I... Mondo. Yeah. After, oh my god, this monologue's been going on for a while, hasn't it? We'll be right back. Holy shit. This is a long recording session. <laughs>